Hey guys, how are you? All right, so I don't know exactly where I'm going with this because I need another watercolor palette, like I need a hole in the head. Mostly I think this is just to give you guys some ideas and maybe I'll end up gifting these to somebody. I have two um, makeup palettes. Basically, this is a compact and it, while it is refillable, I don't use this brand of makeup anymore and um, the makeup that's in here is long past expired. So we are going to dump this out. It, most of these come with a brush. Um, I do think I'm going to save the brushes and wash them. They might be interesting for making marks either with watercolor paint or acrylic paint. And I'm going to have a couple of these little flat brushes. Um, this compact comes in this little case, which might make a cute like mini um, travel watercolor um, kit on its own. So first thing we've got to do is get the makeup out. This is a Bare Minerals um, powder palette. I don't, like I said, I no longer use it. See, it doesn't even have much in it. So that's going to have to be washed. And then this is a Mary Kay palette that I don't use anymore. And the makeup in here is so old, I don't remember where I got it. And here's another one of these um, flat brushes. And then I have a smaller one. So we'll hang on to those. The rest of this is trash. Um, this one actually has um, metal makeup pans in it. And these, are, these here are magnetized. Now these metal pans I could use as is and put watercolor in them or I could get some empty smaller eyeshadow pans they should fit in here. So I'm not sure which what, what I'm going to do yet but in the meantime let's try to save these because I might end up using them. I need to just break the makeup out because it's really expired. This makeup's probably five or six years old. Here we go. And at some point, you know, it gets too much bacteria and stuff in it. It's not healthy for your skin. And some of these colors I don't wear anymore, so. So this is just a little, like, I don't know what, it's a little tool. It's from the clay, <laughs> it's from the polymer clay department at your local craft store. Now you could do this with a palette from the dollar store and um, do this same thing with it and pull all the makeup out. I'm doing it over this bin so that it doesn't get everywhere. I thought it would be more attractive to do it over the bin than for you guys to see the inside of my garbage can. Okay, but see at these little, these little um, eyeshadow palettes I, I don't know if they're expensive. I might measure this and see. Because um, I could fit six in each one of these squares. And then there's places for brushes. There's this little area here um, that I guess these three areas actually could be mixing wells. There's a place here for a brush if you were going to use it that way. I could also take the mirror out and use that area too. I would want to line the mixing well areas with white. You want to be able to see the color that you're mixing, of course. Okay. One more of these. My hands are all icky with eyeshadow now. Whoops. Okay. So those all need to be cleaned. We're going to pull these out. And the next thing I think I want to do is pull out the mirror and then I'm going to wash and dry everything. So Now, on this Mary Kay palette, if I was going to turn it into a watercolor kit, I could put something white here, and that's a nice big mixing area. I could also put something white in the back of these three areas, and you have more mixing space. You also can get a paintbrush in up here, and if you wanted to, you could put a paintbrush here and here also, and like a piece of a credit card here, or a pencil and then a piece of a credit card and an eraser here. So I think this is an interesting idea for palette. And like I said, while I don't need another palette, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna do this on camera so that I can give you guys some ideas. Um, let's see what we can do about getting the mirror out without breaking the palette and hurting ourselves. And I have some ideas in that regard, so take some packing tape 
and stick it to the mirror. Then overlap it a good half an inch or more. Oh, and I almost had makeup all over my floor. So let's dump all that powder out into my trash because my floor is messy enough. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'll move all this over. This is all gonna have to be washed. Now that I've dumped that powder out, I can put all the things that need washing in here. I'm gonna take them to my garage sink and wash them all out and dry and let them out to dry. Okay. So now we have this mirror here and I want to get it out, but I'm taping it because I don't want it to, sh if it does shatter, I don't want it to go everywhere. Okay, everything's washed and drying, and I remembered that this little um, compact case has a mirror in it too, but I think I'm going to, it's really embedded inside the lid of the case, I don't want to crack the lid, so I think that I'm going to just glue a piece of like Yupo to the cover of the mirror glue it over the top of it and then that'll be the mixing surface. I do think I'm going to turn this into a little watercolor kit. So anyway, <laughs> we'll be back after they're dry and I have the rest of the parts I'm thinking of that I need to finish this with. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you today? All righty, holy cow. So turning makeup palettes into watercolor palettes is not as easy as it's made out to be. <laughs> Holy moly. This was just an experiment. I don't really need another palette. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I did, why I did it, what worked, what was difficult, what I wouldn't recommend doing again. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start with a little round palette first before we get into this one. This was a Bare Minerals Compact it came with this little case and a brush which I've taken out and this is cute this little case is cute um, so I did when I was cleaning it out and washing it the paint that was on here started to peel so I chose to spray paint it now I don't know if this is gonna stick for very long I have no idea but it looks better than it did after I cleaned it up um, I pulled everything out I washed it um, I just literally got done cutting this to fit and I'll tell you what that is in just a minute I opted not to even try and take the mirror out of this one because of the way it's in here and I didn't want to crack the compact. So I just went ahead and painted it white and then I thought what we would do is take some clear packing tape and put it right over the painted mirror and then just push it down. And then I'm going to get my smaller X-Acto knife and just run it around the edge carefully. Now if you got a compact from say the dollar store, um, I would probably say um, in my own hindsight what I've learned is to um, use the palette mostly the way it was built, the way it was intended for the makeup, and just do something like this where you paint over the mirror or you put a piece of paper, white paper over the mirror. Um, it's much easier than taking it out, but I do have some tips if you choose to take it out, um, some tips for you that we'll share when we go over the bigger palette. But in this one, one of your options is to just leave it which is what I did here. Let's see if we can get this cut. There we go. So I chose to just leave it and it doesn't want to come off my hand. <laughs> and paint it since I, I, I we had white spray paint in the garage, so I had my husband help me get it spray painted white. Spray paint makes me wheeze anymore, so I have to wear like a breathing apparatus and have the doors open and or just it's easier to have somebody help me. Okay, so there we go. So 
Now this has got a like a plastic covering on the mirror, so you can use that as a mixing surface if you have this out and about. And like I said, I don't know how well this spray paint is going to stick on, stay on here. It's going to get sort of distressed as it's used, I think, um, and that might be interesting look for it. So then I found these mini ice cube trays at Bed Bath & Beyond. They were $4 for two of them and I used my Dremel drill and one of my little cutting um, implements and one of the little sanding blocks to cut a circle out of it to fit inside of here and we're going to glue that down. I'm going to use something strong and waterproof because this is going to get wet a lot and so we want it to stick in there well. I'm going to run something around the edges, some glue, and then put some on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to take a stick, this is just a coffee stirrer, and real quick before the glue starts to set up, I'm going to just spread it around so hopefully we'll get sort of a watertight seal on the little wells of the ice cube tray. I did have to do quite a bit of shaving. I would probably recommend that if you get a something round to make a palette out of, have it be a small round eyeshadow palette that's already got wells in it because this is really a pain in... I mean, it was fun to play with my Dremel. I haven't done that in a while, but it was kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. So then I'm going to just make sure all the bits and pieces are stuck down. and in the glue. Since I had to shave some of the back of it off to get it where the lid would close. Okay, so now it closes up and that's really cute and it fits in the little case that came with the compact and I was able to get a small pencil, a white crayon, and a piece of kneaded eraser in here and other than a brush and your journal um, this is all that you need you know this is a cute little um, interesting watercolor kit and if you had a small Koi does make one of their travel water brushes with a shorter handle than this and I'm not sure but I think it would probably fit in here I don't have one on hand. I thought I had one somewhere. I can't find it. <laughs> um, so anyway, that would probably fit in here. And I know you can get those at um, lots of different places, including Hobby Lobby. And um, I know my art supply store, local art supply store has it. Using this mini ice cube tray in here meant that you could, even if you use these tiny spaces, get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16 different colors in here. And these little teeny tiny ones, I would probably put like white and black in there and then use these other bigger wells for other colors um, that you know you're gonna use. So I'm gonna just, we're gonna keep the lid on there so that it pushes down on that and dries it closed. So there's one and I think that I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put paints in here. I'm gonna leave it as is, but I think I'm going to gift it to someone. So if you would like to be that someone, then send me a private message either here through YouTube or via um, the Facebook group and let me know. And I'll send this off to you in the mail because I don't need it. It was just an experiment. So here's the piece. Um, this. Now these mini ice cube trays are sold in different places in silicone instead of hard plastic, but where I live they're really expensive, so this hard plastic one was a lot cheaper. That being said, if it was silicone you could cut it just with scissors and you wouldn't need to get a Dremel out. Um, it's too hard a plastic to cut with an exacto knife. Okay, so as I was saying when my phone started ringing, if you had... Um, if you were, are able to get the silicone mini ice cube tray, um, then it, you could just cut it with scissors. You wouldn't need to get a Dremel out or use, you know, the big snips didn't work, the X-Acto knife didn't work, there was just no other easy way. And I even got my hacksaw out, I had to go hunt for it in, out in the garage, but the Dremel was the only way. I'm going to throw this piece away. I'm going to actually save this piece. This would actually make a cute watercolor palette on its own. Again, it was $3.99 at Target for two of them, and this would be a cute way if you got a uh, bunch of tubes of watercolor and you can't afford a big fancy metal palette. Um, hello, this is a great way to do it. You could get a you could get a pair of them and then send one, you know, split it with a friend. Um, I don't know how many holes are in here, but there's a lot. All right. 
for the large Mary Kay palette, we did the same thing. And again, I used the same spray paint. I don't know how well it's going to stick, but I did paint it. In this one, I did take the mirror out. That was an effort. Boy, I'll tell you. Um, so my, if you're going to take the mirror out, don't be superstitious because it's probably going to crack. So FYI, um, I recommend covering it with clear packing tape first, sealing it down really well, and then trying to pull the mirror off. Because that way, if it does crack or pieces lift off, they don't pop out in your face and all over the place. I do recommend wearing gloves, safety gear, taking all precautions, please. I am not responsible if you hurt yourselves. Um, I took the mirror out, I laminated a piece of white cardstock, and I used some blue tack to stick it to the lid. I will post links of everything I use to do these projects in the description below and links for where to buy them if I have the, if I can find the links. All right. And you could do a little journal like this with this and like a water brush. That would be cute. In this case, you would just need the journal and I'll show you why. All right. But if you want this, you just get it like this. You don't get anything else with it. Okay. Now in the case of this one, um, this is a much bigger palette and it had this well here in the back that's intended for um, uh, mascara and that sort of thing. A Pentel water brush fits right in there um, and I'm going to leave that in there. Um, I was able to get a couple of um, water soluble pencils in here, little short ones, a regular pencil, a white crayon, and a piece of kneaded eraser. There's an extra little space here you could use for something else or you could use it for another mixing area. Because this was already a magnetic palette, this has these little buttons that release these from the magnetic base. This is magnetic. Now it came with this big pan in it that had, I don't know, powder foundation or something. I got these little small eyeshadow palettes uh, pans from a local supplier and I stuck a piece of magnet to the back of them. I still have to do one so I'll show you. Oh, not that one. One of them did. I thought one of them did. Oh, maybe I did them all. Oh, this one. Okay. And then this little pan will stick to the big pan, and the big pan is stuck to the magnet in the palette. All right. So these big pans came with the palette, and these. so did these three uh, little pans. They had, and I cleaned them out and everything. I got these new little pans to put inside of here, and I nested one in the other so you can get two colors here, two colors here, two here. We get three here and five over here. That's a nice assortment of colors. Plus you have a lot of tools and you have this extra space that you could even put paint in too if you wanted. Um, or you could um, glue down some more little pans or something. Um, this is really cute and it closes up very nicely. And again, you would just need this with a journal. Um, it's a little bigger than I like to carry, but it would be really cute for somebody. So, that being said, these two palettes that I made up, I only did it to show you guys what you could do if you have this sort of thing and then you're throwing it away. Um, it, anybody who would like these, message me in the comments below or send me a private message. Uh, and I'm going to assign you all a number and we'll have, we'll have a giveaway. How's that? So, anybody who would like them, leave a comment. Don't message me. I take that back. Do not message me. Leave a comment below and we will, um, we will do a little drawing. Uh, how's that? Um, that's kind of probably easier than raffle copter. So we'll do a little drawing. I'll pick some numbers or names out of a hat, literally, and uh, we will give these two away. And um, the big one and the little one, they come as shown with the tools that you see in them. I hope you enjoy it and it gives you some ideas of what you can do with maybe what you have laying around the house. Um, I'm not going to put paint in them, but you can get paints pretty inexpensively almost anywhere. Um, just get Reeves or Van Gogh or Winsor Newton or something, to some tubes, and you can start your collection with these. All right, that's it for today. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.